Oh, we're on, guys! Big fish, guys, big fish! I gotta stop him! I gotta stop He's pretty close to the boat now. Oh, oh, the camera, the Holy cow! Oh my god! Oh Jesus! What is going on guys? Ryan from Living Salty here and today's video is going to be one of the most action-packed videos in a while. I catch one of the biggest fish in my entire life. You guys are going to want to stay tuned for this entire video. Now the original plan for today's video is actually to go get some an aquarium fish for this video and for our saltwater fish tank. But after Hurricane Ian, it's been absolutely crazy. And the high tides and everything, the water clarity, everything is not ideal. So we had to scratch that. And as soon as we went out there, went out the inlet, saw it was no good. And we didn't really bring tons of fishing stuff with us, but we saw tons of mold around. So we decided to do a little inshore fishing and I ended up making a great video for you guys here today. So we weren't the most prepared. I didn't have all my inshore tackle, didn't have the right rods and stuff like that. We still may do, still an absolute blast. Now today is currently Saturday and hurricane ian hit florida just about four days ago and just want to say you know we've seen the horrific images and videos and everything like that we're extremely sorry to everybody that was affected from this hurricane we luckily did not have any damages to our properties in west palm in the house here in fort pierce so we are very thankful for that but unfortunately there are a lot of people that weren't as lucky with us so we just want to say that you know you know our thoughts and prayers are with you guys so sorry if you were affected by the hurricane and uh we're gonna build back stronger. Florida always bounces back and uh, we always build back stronger. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Hooked up, live mullet, swimming to the front of the boat. Nice. Where's the net? On the other side. I'll get it. Yep. Nice net. I got a collar, I still... Water is so bad like Jack. Yeah, that in my Make sure I jack. There we go. First fish of the day. Hang on. That's my biggest jack actually. Yeah, I've never caught a jack that big. That's pretty big. <laughs> nice. Nice. Jack, that is my PB Jack. Even though he's not that big, I haven't caught too many big jacks in my life, but there you are. You can hear him talking away there. There he is. I'm gonna go back. Just like that. First fish. Woo. And just like that, we realized that also has a fish on. <laughs> just watch the uh, keep away for the anchor there. Ooh, nice fish. Make sure you don't get you lost him. Yeah, he went under the boat too much. Dang, did he break? No, it just came off. Oh well, probably another Sorry. jack. Probably got a school of jacks this morning. Man. That's okay. Nice, all right, we'll get re-rigged. <laughs> Put some more live mole out. Fish on, fish on. Dad's hooked up here on the bottom pole. A little bit difficult filming today. I forgot one of my key components to uh, attach my GoPro onto, so I'm having to change it up a little bit. I don't think it's, what is it? That looks like a jack. That's a small jack. Yep. I got my bait back though. I had my bait. Oh, my bullet got One hand in that. There we go. <laughs> no, unless we're dropping down for shark. There he goes. Nice fish. It's a nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> we want better though. We want better. <laughs> that is true. It can only get better from here. Hooked up. Oh, always when you're eating, yeah, right? Always when you keep can walk forward. Dad's hooked up. Once again, live mullet. Well, he's using like a two ounce weight or something like that. Yep. We're in about nine feet of water sitting off the bridge. We got another jack, Ooh, it looks like. Jack it's oh, yeah? Attacking. Oh, watch. You don't go into the motors. Trying not to. The jacks were attacking them, actually. I don't think they were attacking them. They were? Trying to save them. I don't know. No, I don't think they were trying to save them. No, there was like a school of them with them. Let me see if they're around again. Wow, he's freaking. That's a pretty good one. Yeah, he just realized he was hooked. Yeah, that's why they say they fight so hard. <laughs> yep. See, see the other one was right next to him? Did you see them all? Oh yeah. I can't believe you haven't gotten one yet. Oh, there we go. We had to do a little surgery there. He got a little, a little oral surgery. <laughs> got a little deep hook there. He swallowed the hook. But he still swam all fine, so. He's a jack. All right, so we are going to finish eating our lunches here gonna, with the mullet, and then we are going to move. You guys can see in the background all those mangroves and stuff over there. Tons of what they call spoil islands over here, and we saw some uh, fish. We're pretty sure they were snook getting uh, blowing up on some bait over there. So I think we're going to drive around and hit some of those islands over there and toss our mullets around and 
Yeah, catch some more fish. Oh, we're on, guys! Oh my god! Oh, I gotta stop him! I gotta... How much? You want me to go after him? Oh, this is a big fish. Yeah, go after him. Go after him. Okay. Big fish, guys. Big fish. Live mullet. Bait blowing up everywhere. This is a big fish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, that was such a crazy run. Oh, this is a nice fish. He hasn't jumped though. I really thought. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just pan around. Look at all the bait jumping everywhere. These are mullet guys. If you don't know, they're a bait fish. This is a mullet run. If I haven't put out a video on the mullet run yet, it'll be out soon. Bait fish absolutely everywhere. Show the water. Show the water right over here. So basically, they chase these huge. The, the mullet come in these I could see mullet. a line that has the, has some seaweed yeah, on it. Yeah, this time of year. And um I think I gotta go up after it though. No, it's alright. Okay. You sure? Okay. You're still okay, yeah. You gotta turn them. And these uh these big big fish, big tarp and big snook, all that kind of stuff, jacks, they all chase down these mullet. It just makes for the best inshore fishing in Florida is this time of year right now. Let's turn back out towards the channel. If it was a tarpon, he would have jumped. Like big time already. So I don't know what it is. I'm afraid to say it's a jack, but I kind of think it might be a jack. That's a big, very big jack then. <laughs> yeah. This is easily got to be like top three biggest fish I've ever had on. If this is a snook, then it's freaking, <laughs> it's a 40, that's a 40 inch club snook. Cause this is a big reel too. We got a 560, uh, Slammer, I think, here. So I got a pretty decent size setup. Oh my god, I'm like not moving them. Focus on keeping the rod tip, the rod nice and tight here. Looks like that's good, that's good, that's good. Fighting. I really, my prediction is Jack, Jack Ravel. Yeah. But, uh, All right. we'll see. If it, I really wish it wouldn't have been a tarpon, but a tarpon would have jumped by now. <laughs> Where's your line? Straight out here. Is it under or over? Um, I'm under. Go ahead, go behind me. He's pretty close to the boat now. Oh no, your, your line's traveling with me. Yep, hold on. <laughs> Oh, you guys see him? That is, oh my God, that thing is huge. Oh. Oh my God. That is. Oh my God. Ridiculous. Even I really if, wish it was a tarpon. <laughs> I'm gonna have to back us out again because we're getting a little close. Okay? There we go. Oh my God. Can you pull him up? Holy cow! Oh my god! Oh Jesus! Oh my god! <laughs> Hang on. Let me open the bill. Hang on. Oh my god. Oh my god. But well, we're not keeping him, we're just releasing him. Oh my god, guys. He's huge! Oh. Wait, do we have a scale that works? Put him. Yeah, grab the boker grip. Okay, we got a working scale on the boker grip. We're gonna get a measure on him. We're gonna get a picture. Gonna get him released. But look at the size of that jack Ravel. I can't even. The boker grip has one, but I can tell you he's probably about 30 pounds. Yeah, he's got it. I'm gonna read. That's not. Yeah, that's not gonna work so well. There we go, guys. <laughs> look at this fish. This is ridiculous. This thing my dad says is easily 35 pounds. I gotta test that. This thing is 35, 40 pounds all day long. Look at the size of this thing. My arms are shaking holding it up. Okay. <laughs> Let me get it. That thing is huge. That is the biggest freaking <laughs> Oh my god. Well that won't fit in the aquarium. There we go. Okay, here we are. Oh my God, this thing is ridiculous. Oh my God. Good. 
Good? Good. I think we got enough fit pictures. Look I at this beauty. Just take a quick look. I think I'll have no problem living. We're just going to toss them I don't think straight have any back problem. into the water. You ready? Thank you for a beautiful fight. Oh my <laughs> god, I can't believe this. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh my god. That was insane. Like I said, I wish if that was a snook, that would have been like a. I don't even know, that would have been like a 50 inch snook. That would have been ridiculous, but knew it wasn't a tarpon because he wasn't jumping. It wasn't really fighting like a snook. He was kind of digging like a jack. Was it the preferred species? No, but it was an absolute beast. Crushed my absolute PD. PB Jack Cravel. Today's like a whole Jack, Jack Cravel episode that we ended up catching today. There's still bait, mullet jumping around everywhere. Well, I guess we'll see if we can get you on one too. Why not? I mean, we're going to keep fishing, but wow an absolute beast oh my god <laughs> so i'm going to show you guys real quick one thing hurricane ian did do to us was made our boat absolutely filthy some of this was from today but you guys see it is filthy all around i'll even throw some cell phone footage in for you guys to see how filthy it was this morning before we went out but today we are going to be using our boat box products to be cleaning up our boat really good because it certainly needs it so right here is what we're going to start with use our boat box boat wash soap my favorite boat soap to use we're going to be using that probably our deck cleaner and whatever else we need to use to get our boat nice and clean Okay, so here's the after of using the boat box product. You can see it looks 20 times better than it did. Now granted, this was a quick clean. We don't want to spend hours out here cleaning. You're tired from fishing today. So here it is. You guys can look significantly better than what it was before. I mean, looks like a different boat. Here we go. Look how nice and clean the floor came back here. Everything looks fantastic. Now the only products we did use of the boat boxes are right over here that is the boat soap right there and that's the nod skid deck cleaner nothing crazy nothing harmful no crazy chemicals or anything like that just use a simple boat wash and deck cleaner and it got this boat 20 times better than it was if we had a little bit more time we'd probably use our mold and mildew remover and really get the spots that are really needing a little bit extra help but that's not for today. And with that, we are going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was an absolutely epic day of fishing today, catching my by far biggest Jack Raval and definitely one of the biggest fish I've ever caught actually. So that was really awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit that like button and consider subscribing down below. It really helps me out a lot. And if you guys like this kind of video, make sure you guys check out this video on the left side of the screen. It's gonna be a video where I compare different lures, cheap versus expensive, to see if it's worth your money. All right, guys, until my next video, remember to keep living salty.